The location of Andy Robertson's first Liverpool goal made the moment even sweeter for the left back. With five minutes remaining of the Reds' 2017-18 Premier League season, and a top-four finish in the bag courtesy of a 3-0 scoreline against Brighton and Hove Albion, a rare chance came the Scots' way. Robertson prodded home the team's fourth of the day at the Anfield Road end, a strike that mattered little in the match but meant everything to him. It's always nice to get a goal. They're few and far between for me. But it was a nice moment. To get it at Anfield is always special, he told B in Sports. From the kickoff we were spot on. We were all over Brighton and we were just too much for them. Credit to all the lads, we've done it comfortably on the last day. That's the kind of performance we've been used to. In the last couple of weeks we've dropped a bit, but we were back to our best. The number 26 wasn't the only man to end his wait for a Liverpool goal on Sunday. Having been handed an opportunity to start the game by Jurgen Klopp, 20-year-old Dominic Solank marked the occasion with a thunderous effort early in the second half. Receiving Mohamed Salah's pass to the right of the target, the Englishman slammed an unstoppable drive off the underside of the crossbar. I'm absolutely delighted for him, said Robertson. He came here at the same time as me, he has probably not got as much game time as he'd like. But credit to him on the training pitch, he works so hard and waits for his chance. His finish was typical Dom. Maybe the Liverpool fans haven't seen a lot of that but he was different class. At the other end of the scoring spectrum was Salah. The forward struck for the 32nd time in the league this term, a record for a player in a single 38-game campaign, and the 44th in all competitions. It guaranteed Salah the Golden Boot Prize, presented to him on the pitch after full-time, to follow a plethora of individual accolades that had been bolstered earlier in the day by the Premier League Player of the Season honour. He has been different class all season. He deserves all the plaudits he's getting, added Robertson. He'd have probably had two or three but I'm sure he'll be happy with one. Credit to him and long may it continue for us. Thoughts can now turn to the Champions League final against Real Madrid. Klopp's demand for full focus on Brighton, with a top-four finish still on the line before the game, paid dividends in the way Liverpool dispatched the Seagulls without issue. But the path is clear for the next fortnight as the Reds plot to topple the holders in Kiev and place a sixth European Cup in the trophy cabinet. It's so hard to keep your mind off it, but we had to this week because we knew how important the Brighton game was, explained Robertson. But now we can all get excited, the fans, families, friends, the players and everyone around the club can really get excited for this big game. We'll be ready, we've got a long two weeks, we'll be in the best possible shape and we look forward to seeing what we can do. Andy Robertson Brighton and Hove Albion